Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, I'm so glad you found me. Tonight, we are making a really quick dinner. I have had a super busy day with computer work. I'll tell you guys about that in a minute, but we're gonna make a really quick beef and veggie stir fry. We can do some instant rice, some fresh veggies, a little bit of steak. So let's get in the kitchen and let's get this quick dinner done. We're gonna take a little help from the grocery store. We're gonna do some instant rice. Um, I have had a super busy day and it's not over with yet. I still have a bunch of things to get done. So we're gonna get our instant rice started really quick. Let's get some water. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in our, in our pot. I'm gonna turn our heat on. We're gonna do one cup of instant rice right in our measuring cup. All right, so we've got our rice ready to go. When our water comes to a boil, we'll put that in there. Let's put that away. All right, so we have one piece of steak here. It's still kind of frozen, which is fine because it's actually gonna slice up a lot better with it when it is a little bit frozen. We're taking a little bit of help from the grocery store, or from Costco, I should say, for the sauce. We are using this soy ginger sauce. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. It's great. So we're gonna use that. We have um, a little bit of bell pepper. We have a little piece of red, a little piece of yellow. We have a little bit of green. We have a little bit of onion. And we have a little bit of broccoli. <laughs> so we are cleaning out our refrigerator, which is perfect because we are going to be doing our big grocery shopping tomorrow. So it's a good thing that we are using these veggies up tonight getting all of these things out of our refrigerator so that I can clean out my crisper drawers and we're going to be ready to do reset on our fridge tomorrow. Just because this is easy, we're just going to go ahead and get our broccoli uh, florets off of our stock down so you can see what's happening down here. All right, so we have our red bell pepper. We're going to go ahead and just, we're going to cut this right in this bag because I'm going to throw this bag away we have a little bit of a soft spot right here. Let's cut that off. As I said, we are using up the last of our veggies that we've had in our refrigerator. We're trying to do a quick clean out of our veggies. So let's go ahead and get this green bell pepper cut off. Get that in the garbage. I love quick veggie stir fries, especially on a night when I am mentally tired <laughs> from a busy day with lots of things to get done and I need to just do kind of a quick dinner but I don't want to do takeout I don't want to do any of those things I still want to do something home cooked even if I am taking a little help from the grocery store with just some store-bought sauces which are perfectly fine um, sometimes we have to take a little bit of help from the grocery store all right so we have this off Let's go ahead and cut this into strips. So what I've been working on is I am working on a collab video that'll be coming up in a week for you guys that you will see we are doing um, a really fun collaboration with several other YouTubers. And so it's a type of video I've never done before. And so I'll finish that thought in a second. Let's get our rice in our pot to a stir a pot and just like that our rice is going um so back to the video it's a new video to, new style of video i've never done before so i'm trying to learn how to edit this and get this ready for you guys so that's taking um some extra time to do plus um i am trying to finish our meal plan for next week or actually for the next two weeks and get my grocery list ready to go so that hubby and I can go to the grocery store tomorrow morning before Walmart gets super busy, get our groceries so we can get home and get some things done that we need to get done around here. We're supposed to have some beautiful weather this weekend. And so I'm excited to try to maybe get some seeds started for our garden, which is gonna be super exciting. So hubby likes to come with me when we do our Kind of fill in or our big grocery hauls because he likes to get certain things for his lunch and, and certain things for his snacks for his lunch and um, that kind of stuff and so he likes to come with me so that he can get the things that he wants which i am all for 
All right, so there's all of our bell peppers. There is our broccoli. Let's go ahead and do one carrot. We don't need to go overboard on our veggies tonight, but we will grab one carrot. We're gonna go ahead and cut the tip off of this. I'm gonna grab my peeler. This peel isn't looking so hot. Right, we're just gonna peel this right into our garbage real fast. And I'm just gonna do some thin cut, a thin sliced carrots. Um, I wanna make sure that these are gonna cook in the same amount of time as the rest of our veggies do so that we don't end up with um, mushy carrots, but I also don't wanna have raw carrots either. So we're just gonna cut these on a bias kind of, and we're gonna cut them kind of thin. really simple. We're just going to use the Cinder Joy, Cinder Joy sauce, ginger soy sauce, and I'm going to polish mine off when I sit down to eat. I'm going to use a little bit of the sweet chili sauce. I love that stuff. That is amazing. All right, so we have all of our veggies ready to go. Let's go ahead and push these aside. We have our piece of steak right here. We are going to go ahead. We're just going to cook one chunk of this. I'm going to save this other little chunk right here for a little treat for my dogs. They um, they love steak and they don't get it super often, but they do like to have it a little bit. So we're gonna save a little piece for them. They'll get to have a little, little treat on top of their dog food tonight. I'm gonna trim off a little bit of this fat. I don't want quite as much fat as there is on this, so we're just gonna do a little trim. All right, that looks pretty good. All right, so we're gonna do our steak in really thin slices. oil. If I was doing this in a wok and I really wanted to have the heat super high on this, I would be using a different oil than avocado, but I'm good with the avocado oil right now. It's going to be fine. So we're just going to let our skillet come up to temperature and we'll put our beef in. All right, our steak is cooking. It's looking super good. For just another minute, and then we're gonna add all of our veggies in. We're gonna stir fry it, add our sauce. Our rice is already done. We're gonna be eating dinner in just a couple minutes. got our veggies in here. We're going to stir fry these with our steak. Only going to take a couple minutes. Like I said, I don't want my veggies overcooked. I just want them to have some heat to them from the, the stove. Obviously not heat wise as in flavor, but some heat when I'm warmed up. Some of my veggies, I still want them to be crisp. I don't like them to be soggy or really super soft. So we are just going to let these veggies run away onions. Let these things cook and we'll add our sauce in just a couple minutes. So we have our soy ginger sauce. We're going to go ahead and sauce up our 
steak and veggies. This looks so incredible. This is going to be so good. All of our veggies are ready. We're gonna go ahead and dish this up. I'm gonna go ahead and put some rice in our bowls. Trying to not go too heavy on the rice. I really want these bowls to be more What am I trying to say? More, more meat and veggie forward. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, friends, here is our stir fry. This is going to be so tasty. I'm excited to sit down and eat this. As I said, I've had a crazy busy day. Still have a lot of things to get done before the end of the evening. So we're gonna sit down and make this super quick and tasty dinner. I wanna thank you guys so much for joining me in my kitchen as we made a really fast dinner tonight. Really quick, even a quick dinner can be super tasty, super healthy, and ready in minutes. I hope you guys will join me again in my kitchen. It means so much to me that you guys take time out of your day to come and spend time with me. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button so you are don't miss out on anything that I've uploaded. Hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos that I upload and you're notified every single time we have a new one come up. And also, most importantly, give this video a like. You guys have a great evening. God bless. And we'll see you in the comments.